everyone, hello and welcome to 100 Days to Cat series. I'm hoping that you're all doing well. I'm back again with one very, very interesting aspect, one very, very amazing concept, which is called Siva's Theorem. I'm hoping that you've seen some of the other parts that I've done and you've also shared it with, you know, aspirants who can get benefited from these sessions. If not, do start sharing these so that, you know, we can create a larger impact and can keep coming back with some really, really interesting sessions. Let me start this session talking about Siva's theorem. One, you know, it's a very, very interesting theorem having a very niche application, but you know, if game 99 or 100 percentiles, then handy a handy. So one of those parachute concepts, okay, which you know, in very difficult situations. Let's see the Siva's theorem. What is it about and how do we apply this? Let's see. First of all, and let us understand what is what do I mean by a CVN. So, for example, let's say I'm sure you've heard of median, right? You've heard of medians, you've heard of angle bisectors. They're all types of CVNs. What is a CVN? Any line when you draw from a vertex to the opposite side is called a CVN. So, for example, here it's it's a CVN. It it may or may not be a median or an angle bisector or an altitude, but in, in a general form, it is called a CVN. Now, what, the, what does Siva's theorem say? Siva's theorem says what's, you know, very, very simple aspect. AF to FD, BD to DC, CE to AE. These ratios, when you multiply, they give you equal to one. So, very, very simply, for example, let's say this is 2 by 3. Okay, this is 2 by 3. Okay, so what is this ratio? 2 into 2 upon 3. What is this ratio? 2 upon 3. So then the next ratio, you know, whatever that ratio X is, we can very easily calculate by putting it equal to one. So for example, let's say this becomes four upon nine into X is equal to one. So X must be nine upon four. Now imagine a scenario like this, wherein you have these, you know, numbers given, and let's say one of this is given, the other can be calculated because you have the ratio. I'm hoping that you understand. One application I will show you. Okay, so as I have already told you, the application is quite niche. लेकिन एक बार समझ लेने में पांच मिनट इन्वेस्ट करने में कोई हाम नहीं है इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर की एमबीए एंट्रेंस टेस्ट चलिए आइए देखें इसका एक एप्लीकेशन देख लेते हैं फटाफट ओके नाउ लेट अस सी वन एप्लीकेशन फॉर एग्जांपल इस वाले क्वेश्चन में देख अपने पास वी हैव लेट्स से फोर एंड थ्री सो फोर इज टू थ्री इज वॉट आई हैव हियर सो द रेशियो इज फोर इज टू थ्री हियर आई हैव टू इज टू थ्री सो दिस इज टू एंड थ्री नाउ हियर आई हैव अ नंबर विच इज नाइन ओके नाउ into 9 upon x must be equal to 1. Now, if I want to find out this number, which is x, this is 3 and 3 is gone, so 9. And finally, if I, you know, cross multiply it, x is equal to 8, right? So if you see, this becomes 9 is to 8. So 4 upon 3 into 2 upon 3 into 9 upon 8. One thing to note here is that you have to take these ratios in a, in a cycle, right? So this to this, this to this, and this to this, right? Multiply it, put it equal to 1. See, this 3 and 3 gets cancelled here, 4 and 2 gets cancelled here, you get equal to 1. That, my dear friends, is Siva's theorem. Keep learning, I'll keep coming back and, you know, we'll keep helping out in this journey. I'm hoping that this is clear. Thank you so much for joining in. God bless you all. Take care and bye-bye.